Hello guys, I am Miss Merle and the discussion for today will be about the other genera of the family Enterobacteria CA. Uh, this will be brief since this is just more on a summarized presentation. So for the outline, uh, we will be having or tackling about all the members of the genera of the family, other members of the genera of the family Enterobacteria CA. And um, to start with, we have this uh, tabulated presentation. So for the genus uh, Budovicia, usually they are found in water and occasionally they uh, occur in clinical specimens. While for Batioxella, it consists of seven species isolated from water. So there is a correlation that um, both of them are found in water. Okay, and uh, only uh, B. agrestis and B. noaceae have been isolated from human specimens. And um, about C. Uh, it is composed of five species. And um, these uh, organisms have been uh, recovered from sputum, blood, and wounds. And of the five, we have C. divisiae, which is the most commonly isolated species. And moving on with the Ewingella, uh, Ewingella americana is the only species of this genus, and most isolates have come from human blood cultures or respiratory specimens and exhibit resistance to multiple antimicrobial agents. And then we also have Cloyvera. It is composed of three closely related species. And uh, the most common clinical isolate is uh, K. ascorbata. And they have been found in respiratory, urine, and blood cultures. Majority of the strains are non-pigmented, and occasionally the isolates will uh, produce a reddish blue or violet pigment. And all species resemble E. coli, colonies growing on Mac agar. So uh, the colony characteristics of Cloyvera species, uh, we should remember that they are blue-violet they, uh, they produce these uh, blue-violet pigments and uh, when they are growing on sheep blood agar. And uh, next we have Lurklyrsha. So they have been uh, isolated more recently in pure culture from a septicemia and from wounds. And the single species is uh, L. adecarboxylata, which have a yellow pigment but only during the uh, primary isolation. And also, it has, a, it has similar invic reactions to E. coli. It is negative for lysine, ornithine decarboxylase, and arginine dihydrolase. dihydrolase. And we also have Lee minorella. So we have two species. And uh, this genus, the organisms under this genus produce hydrogen sulfide, and they show weak reactions with Salmonella antisera. Well, uh, similar to Molyrella, Lyme minorella, uh, their clinical significance uh, is really unknown. And then Lyme monorella, they have been isolated from patients with hospital-acquired infections. And moving on with uh, Molyrella, um, we only have one species again, which is Wisconsensis, and it is positive for citrate, methyl red, lactose, and sucrose. And uh, in contrast, it is negative for lysine, ornithine, arginine, recarboxylase, and indole. And then uh, it is also similar to E. coli growing on enteric media. This one, and similar to Lee minorella, molyrella has an unestablished or unknown clinical significance. And we also have photorhabdus. We have three species under it. And... Um, Quite interesting is the natural habitat is we can find them in the lumen of antimalpathogenic nematodes. They occur in two phases with a property of luminescence in phase one only. And uh, these uh, organisms produce pink, red, orange, yellow, and green pigmented colonies on nutrient agar and especially on nutrient rich media such as TSA or tryptychase soy agar and egg yolk agar. We also have Ranilla, Ranilla aquatilis, 
is a group of water bacteria that are psychotolerant and they can grow at 4 degrees Celsius. They have no single characteristic that can differentiate them or distinguishes them from other members of the Enterobacteriaceae. They are negative for potassium cyanide, gelatin, lysine, ornithine, and uh, and motility. And uh, the thing is, uh, they lack uh, the yellow pigmentation and occasionally isolated from human clinical specimens, more especially from uh, bacteremia, feces from patients with acute gastroenteritis and septicemia, and especially from immunocompromised patients. We also have totamil totamila. We have Totomila gisius, it's the only species, and um, these, uh, the genus, the organisms under this genus, Totomela, have unusual characteristics because, uh, let's start with, uh, the stock cultures can be kept frozen in sheep, red blood cells, or freeze-dried, but then they die in a few weeks on agar slants. They also show more biochemical reactions at 25 compared at 35 degrees Celsius. And motility is only observed at 25 degrees Celsius, but not at 35 degrees Celsius. They also uh, manifest or show or demonstrate large 15 to 36 millimeter zones of inhibition around penicillin discs. And these uh, organisms are slow growing and they produce tiny colonies and relatively non-reactive in laboratory media. We also have Troboceella. Troboceella guamensis is the only species associated with the humans. Um, it is uh, biochemically related to salmonella and it has been isolated from vacuum, vac vacuum cleaner contents on the island of Guam. And the role in disease is unknown. And we also have Eukinella. Eukinella. They are biochemically similar to hafnia, but uh, differ primarily by yielding negative those proscower test results. They have been isolated from human specimens, and the significance for human disease still is under ongoing studies. This is the end of this presentation.